Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. I have probably seen some random videos, Dino the JS, Dino Dino Dino, with Dino Replace Note, I don't know, but I don't know what Dino the JS is right now. But all I know is, I'm gonna ask Google, a humble friend, what Dino the JS is. Okay. Right now, I'm on Google and I put in the search bar, what is Dino the JS? Dino is a runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript that is based on the JavaScript V8 engine, similar to Node.js, and uses the Rust and TypeScript for runtime. That what you said as in the Rust program. It was created by Ryan Dow, which is the original creator of Node.js, and it's focused on productivity, which it isn't actually as of now because it's under development. Now it's a language used actually JavaScript, Rust, and Go software during runtime system similar to Node.js. That's all I know about Node right now. So. I'm just going to an article I found on the web which said what is you know a better no Jurassic Infoworld.com article. So what is Dino? All I said about the Dino is on the main website. See Dino 1.0 is already blog post. A secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript. See, Dino is a simple modern and secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript that uses V8 and it's been a Rust. We already know that. Secure by default, no file network or environment access unless explicitly enabled. Support types check out of the box, ships only is a single executable file, has built in utilities like a dependency inspector and a code formatter. Blah 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 installation. Dino ships as a single executable with no dependency. You can start using installs below or download the release binary from this page. Mm, interesting. So for Mac Linux, you can see all these guys. Wanna get to the technicals here? Let's get to Getting started, try running a simple program. Dino run HTTPS Dino the land example slash slash like that. All compass run. Okay, you can see using the object destruction right here, guys. I serve. Oh, this is interesting. You can actually just import a module from Dino without using like similar to notes using the npm package installer. You just use the import. You're gonna unpack each and everything from that module just by using this URL. You can see it's important serve. Then you can see serve create objects with the port 8000 console log JavaScript. And one thing about Dino I noticed about it is it uses this in synchronous programming. Yeah, no JS does that, but on a, in Dino I can see it's at a higher level, higher skill. Yeah, you can see like this for weights. It's kind of like it's one eternity later. Looping through an infinite. E treble that's right yeah that is all right runtime documentation the basic runtime documentation for Dino can be found on no not in this video Dino comes to manner which contains more in-depth explanation about the more complex functions of the runtime introduction to the concept that Dino is built on details about the internals of Dino how to embed Dino in your application how to extend Dino using Rust plugins standard modules third-party modules okay these are most of the modules that comes with Dino Obviously, there isn't that much, how I put much stuff or explanation documentation to back up this new, yeah, quite call it framework. This new framework is out for JavaScript. Actually, what I do know about it is very, very interesting. It was built by the same person, Ryan Dow, who actually built Node.js. And actually, one of his main reasons for that, he, he built it as to replace, he built it to like, not, I don't know if it's going to replace Node.js. But many developers actually come different ideas. Going to replace nodes. Going to do this to node. But one main reason did is to help fulfill all. I say sponge nodejs shortcomings. Yeah, remember that word right? Shortcomings. So one thing about Dino is I, if I can remember this article, it's um, Dino modules in nodejs. You normally have to load a module using the required keyword. Yeah, require in parentheses put them name of the module inside the parentheses but in Dino you just do keyword import and you don't actually it's not like no you actually need to download a package using npm package manager in Dino you just have to use the import keyword and explicitly state the URL you can see that's what it says on the article for example import hysteric which means all import as log from they just explicitly stated the URL and everything about that module you have access to so Dino modules can be hosted anywhere. 
there is no centralized repository for third-party modules in addition modules are always catch and compiled locally hmm pretty good and aren't updated unless you expi explicitly ask for a refresh therefore you should be able to run dino programs that are already on your laptop as long as all imports have been resolved once and if you're on an airplane with no connectivity wow wow wow, wow. i am amazed this one the part actually really gets me guys this one my favorite part i just discovered about dino because this no 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 doesn't let you do this guy so i think dino is a very good improvement to the node js system but is it going to replace it because as of now i can vouch for it it's good for you to go and use it for productivity when you're creating high scalable applications so dino is on the win on our same deal no js is still on the win on that side for productivity because dino is still under development um I think there's a little history behind that choice of model for library that roots each prototype of Dino primarily in the Go language. Wow, it was really in Go. But discover potential conflicts between the garbage collectors in Go and V8. He and his collaborators then rewrote Dino proper with V8, Rust, and Rust is synchronous input API, which is IO package, Tokyo. Scale and what that means that they impl implemented the Dino standard library in TypeScript. At this point, Dino is a reasonable and fun environment to use for being a small private, you can hear guys, small, the word small, private scripting project in TypeScript. According to Dal, Dino or Deno will never really affect the success of Node.js. Nevertheless, once Dino reaches version 1.0, it may well become a viable choice for building larger projects, which means some of its modules, packages are still in development, they're working on them, they're working on them and they've not actually reached pro the productivity stage like I have Node.js and Node.js one big advantage of Node.js it has a lot of community behind it there are a lot of problems solved you can find a lot of um, articles documentation on it but Dino, Dino is something new something fresh new to the table to the developers world so it's still in development phase so guys I don't want to bring out this brief video about it because I'm here some I'm seeing some videos about it on YouTube Dino the Jeff we didn't replace Node we didn't do this we didn't do that so I say let me just put my own opinion out out there guys so you can hear it so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell button we're make me well was, is there a we okay we're, we're a family here we always do a video every 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 single i get there every single most of the time we're driving on this channel regarding web development software development and tech in general guys so don't forget to subscribe so then guys i'm signing out i'm going to see you guys in the next video